Um, so during the two for two, uh, you mentioned that some of your influences were also the protest songs of Latin America in the yeah. 70s and 80s. Tell me a little bit more about that. I mean, I, I'm a student of world history. I kind of understand what was... I have a basic... I can never say I understand, but I have a basic understanding of what was... Uh, what was going on there? I can take a guess what they were protesting, but I, what was what you were there? What was the influence there that influenced you? So, the um, the uh, Latin American history has been plagued by inequality, right? Mm -hmm. Let's ju like to be perfectly frank, and 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 a lot of that. Um, th there was a very leftist movement that was coming out of the cry of the people of that inequality, and and, and to be able to be. Uh, taken into account for everything mm -hmm. from simple human rights to everything else in, in, in the development of a country. Yeah. Um, it, it was that and a lot of corruption going on uh, in Latin America for a long time. So, um, it, so it was that. It was the cry of the people. Mm -hmm. um, I was talking a little bit about who uh, some of those influences were and I was talking about this great lyricist. His name is Silvio Rodriguez. And uh, um, the, 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 the term for, for it is Nueva Trova. Uh, the Latin American Nueva Trova, which is uh, um, um, mostly protest music. Mm -hmm. Silvio is probably one, if not the best lyricist that I have ever listened to. I mean, he's insane, right? And and so it came from that. And we listened to it a lot, and and it just, you know, branded a little bit of what my stories are and where are they coming mm -hmm. from when I'm talking about uh, uh, Spanish music specifically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 